and we're back. We are literally going places today. Check this guy out. Who knows what wondrous adventures they'll be on. Anyway, we're here in Heathrow. I'm conscious, it's very quiet. <laughs> I, I feel more self-conscious talking in front of no one when there's English people around, but yes, I'm about to embark on some crazy adventure. And you guys will get to see where that is in just a moment. I don't know if I'm gonna be talking so much in the filming in my holiday coming up, but I hope you guys enjoy whatever the heck it is I get up to, presuming I get there. <laughs> I'll see you guys in just a moment. I am simultaneously sunburnt and frozen at the same time. I'm currently on my way to the Death Bridge, which I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the place name I'm currently in. <laughs> Maybe I'll flash it up on the screen there. There you go, and you can pronounce it and see how you like pronouncing weird named places. But yeah, I've had a crazy few days I've probably shown you a lot of temples, including the Grand Palace. That was pretty sweet. Um, I pretty much just came here out of complete impulse, so I am kind of all over the place. How I am not managed to get lost, well, I mean, I get lost quite frequently, but how I managed to survive, I'm not too sure. So in any case, we're nearly there. You know what I found amusing? <laughs> is wherever you go there seems to be some semblance of English culture somewhere. Like you know <laughs> that Thailand apparently has beats pharmacies. Who would have ever known? <laughs> Crazy times. There's also a Tesco somewhere which I've yet to come across but they exist here too apparently. But anyway enough talking I'll catch you guys at the next important location of significance. Yeah, this doesn't sound ominous at all, does it?
You know, Bangkok is pretty noisy. I think I've finally found a place where there's relative quiet, which is still probably not very quiet at all. But you can at least hear me say things. This view is pretty cool. And there is more to go, by the way. A little bit. I'm hoping as well I can get to a rooftop bar tomorrow and get an even better view. But I'm not having out hope for that. I'm not here for too much longer. I've kind of been all over the place. I went to Kanchanaburi and then Ayutthaya and Kauai National Park. You've probably seen videos from all over the place. I haven't really planned on doing that much, but it turns out I've done quite a lot. I'm just going to spend the last two days kind of chilling, doing the remaining things. I don't know what this guy in the background is saying, by the way. <laughs> so, hopefully you guys get a good view in a moment. And I'll see you guys soon. I figured I'd come walk down this surprisingly tranquil place. Not that, that's toilets. <laughs> There's lots of joggers everywhere, it's crazy. I suppose it's the same everywhere. But yeah, I decided to come here. It's my last full day in Thailand. And I figured I'd have some quaint, final, just chill out day in a park. Then it decided to rain harder than I think I've ever seen it rained. <laughs> it was quite a lot of rain just now, but it's kind of kind of subsided. There's still bits around. This is, this is fine. Everything's fine. It's like sports complexes and all sorts of crazy things going on. And there's like small ponds over there or lakes. I don't know what you'd call them. Anyway, I've had a pretty good holiday here. I've not talked as much as I would have liked in this whole time. Um, mostly because everything is really loud <laughs> and when it's not loud it has rained instead and that well I mean that in itself is loud but Bangkok is like such a busy place. This is pretty bizarre you've got this park and then a bunch of skyscrapers up there. Yeah I've had a lot of fun. I didn't really plan on doing much this trip and I ended up going to loads of places. So I'm quite satisfied with my haul. Um, it is way too hot here though. There's way too much traffic in Bangkok specifically. But once you get out of there, there's actually quite a lot of cool stuff to see. And there's loads that if I was to come back, I'd be able to see it. Such as all the beaches and there's stuff up north. I've kind of just hung round, round south and done the big stuff there. But it's worked pretty well. I had a fun time anyway. It was either this or not come here, so <laughs> I'm planning every year, because this is around my birthday, I'm planning every year to do some crazy adventure. Hopefully I get to show you guys it too. Um, I'm trying to think of like, if there are any specific tips I should tell you guys. Um, well, basically, don't do what I did <laughs> just now. Always bring a raincoat. Because if you're wearing this, you need to kind of come prepared. Yeah, I'm wearing like fancy shoes and <laughs> weird like multicolored pants but the reason is I'm trying to go to uh, a rooftop bar before I go hopefully they'll let me up there because it's raining and I have like spare smart clothes in my bag it's apparently you have to be super smart uh, but I could not fit my shoes in hence the weird combination of clothing <laughs> I look pretty strange already <laughs> but there you go so hopefully, if it all goes well, you'll see the footage of that after this. Uh, I'm hoping to get a good night time view of Bangkok in a much polluted and yet scenic glory simultaneously. 
But even if I don't get it, I've seen quite a lot of the place and I've got quite a good view from up top the Golden Mount, which I think you guys have seen. Uh, so that was pretty cool. It's been quite a contrast in stuff that you guys have probably seen here. So I definitely recommend coming down here. There's a lot, again, there's a lot of other stuff worth seeing that I probably haven't seen. And it's just more reason for me to come back to Southeast Asian for the future. Also, everything is really cheap, so definitely come here for that. Because like one British pound is like 43 baht or something. You can get dinner and a drink for the equivalent of maybe two and a half pound in some places. So yeah. And some hostels I've stayed in, I think it's averaged out at like, oh, which way do we go? Let's go this way. It's averaged out at like nine pound for a night. <laughs> so that's crazy. Oh, there was totally this other park I went through. I didn't take a video of it for some reason. Um, we had this massive just aerobics class in the middle of a park, <laughs> in the middle of a city. So strange, so strange. Lots of strange things. Uh, I guess another tip is, I guess it's not really a tip, there's not much you can do about it, but you'll be endlessly pestered by, <laughs> by tuk-tuk and taxi drivers to take you to places. I just want to go for a walk, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> I can't even, like, preface it by saying, like, they're just trying to be nice people. Because ultimately, they're just trying to get your money. <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I feel like I'm rambling on too long. Might be a few bits, hopefully I get to this bar and you guys see it. If not, that'll probably be it, unless there's other footage. But yeah, until next time, my amigos. I don't know, I was going to say something then. <laughs> but I'll catch you guys next time. Toodles.